thank you so much for the opportunity to participate as speaker at ISPCS for the third time already. Uh, ARCA team has a long history of aerospace activity in Europe, starting with 99, where we designed, build, and launched space vehicles for both governmental and private applications. We decided to relocate the company here in New Mexico last year to test and mass produce the Air Strato unmanned aerial system. For those of you who don't know who, ARCA, who is ARCA, here is a short video about our company. Everything you'll see in this video was produced at ARCA, tested at ARCA during 15 years of activity. This was the world largest solar balloon launched in 2006. We worked a lot with the Navy to perform the flights over the Black Sea. This was the one and only up-to-date flight in the Google Lunar Express competition. And this is one of our current projects. It's a big orbital, uh, not a big, it's small actually orbital launcher this is the engine for the for the rocket we worked for the european space agency to test the parachutes for the exomars spacecraft and this is air strato and mandarin system that we will produce here in las cruces new mexico so you may ask what is this private space, space flight company got to do with unmanned aerial systems? Well, this is an excellent question. In fact, this is the key question. What is the link between air straddle, unmanned aerial system, and the private space flight? Our initial and currently main goal is ex space exploration and space tourism. We were involved in Ansari X Prize, an amazing competition, amazing teams, amazing engineers, passionate people as the industry has never seen. And I'm telling you this because they were my colleagues. But sadly, out of 24 teams, only three or four survived to these days. What happened? Obviously, the lack of funding. We understood this. We understood that the only way to have a space company running is to finance it by yourself until profitable. Not the sponsors, not the governmental contracts. The sponsors don't have the time and vision to wait, and the governmental contracts are ensuring only the company's survival. That's why we decided to ha have a commercial product that will be able to support the company's space activities. And here comes Air Strato as the fin financial backbone of our company and of our space goals. Let's see a short video about uh, Air Strato product that we will produ mass produce here uh, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, starting with May next year.
We designed Air Strato as a commercial product because the unmanned aerial vehicle, vehicles industry is going to change the world in the years to come. We've made our unmanned aerial system affordable. It is the size of a Predator drone, but priced in the range of $140,000. We intend to flood the UA UAV market with them, and if I may, Air Strato is our booster rocket. Air Strato is far from being the limit of our activity. We have a suborbital manned space rocket that we intend to test and operate here at Spaceport America, and we have an agreement already with Spaceport America starting with um, last month. Our rocket is designed to carry a crew of five in a suborbital journey into space, a journey like no other, well above the 100 kilometers limit of space, like the old uh, Mercury um, space flights. And Air Strato sales will make that possible. Arca Space Corporation is now, after the capitalization and private investments, one of the most valuable companies in Las Cruces. I need to thank Pat Hines for supporting this company and for bringing it to New Mexico. Thank you so much, Pat. Without you, it would have been far more difficult. Thank you. <laughs>